it is getting crazier and crazier with these protests in New York City. And I was like, no way, I'm not going down there. I'm not risking myself to get some camera shots to film some stuff. But this might be the last chance we have to go out, hand out some flyers, and inform people about the dangers of this Wi-Fi weaponry they've set up to control us. I believe that these people that are protesting right now are getting radiated by all the Wi-Fi infrastructure that's set up in New York City. Uh, so we're gonna go down, hire some people to hand out flyers at Washington Square Park. So I've been on my computer uh, answering a Craigslist ad, trying to get like 10 or 15 people, hopefully five show up. Uh, the goal is gonna be give them flyers, have them go down to Washington Square Park, hand the flyers out, and then I'll call them later and, and see what happened, and I'll brief you guys on that. So, you know, I'm not putting myself in the front line. I'm not going to the protest myself. I, I really don't think that's a good idea, uh, but I will be meeting people at a location, giving them the flyers. They're going to go down to the protest to hand out the flyers, and we're gonna see the response. So, uh, you know, I've showed you guys the flyer before. I think a lot of people are just gonna look at it and dismiss it quickly. But, you know, when they start getting sick in a week or two and they think about, well, I was wearing a mask and all that stuff, maybe things will start clicking in their head. So uh, it's about 1230 right now. We have to be down in the city at 3 p.m. because the protest is at 4 p.m. So we're going to give these people the flyers at 3. I have to load the flyers into my car and uh, that should really be it. So if you guys want this flyer, it's pinned to my Twitter. And I went on Vistaprint myself. I printed a few thousand and uh, I even posted some up around my town. So while we're driving down to the city, we'll see if those are still up. The flyers are somewhere in my mess of boxes. So let's get them loaded up in the car. It actually started raining outside now, but I think by the time we get down to the city, it's gonna be uh, cleared up. Actually, no, it looks like it's gonna rain for the next few hours, but I already got these people hooked up on Craigslist to meet me down there. So let's just see how this goes. You know, it's not raining too hard. It's not too crazy. And, um, I'm not going to do this another day, so hey, maybe, maybe maybe we will. We'll see how many flyers I can give these guys. So these are the first flyers I printed out on Vistaprint. I think I have like 2,000 of these. These are the ones that have, you know, the Moloch stuff on it with the Verizon Molochon, and I wasn't going to initially hand these out because I wanted it to be a little more accurate. So I had these made, which are, you know, they've been referring to this radiation poisoning as a mysterious illness. Uh, talking about how they're already killing children. So I'm going to keep these to hand out for myself. So I'm getting ready to leave right now. I'm just packing up some orders for my company to drop off at the post office. And this rain has me nervous as hell. There's a chance we go down there and like no one shows up to the car. And then we just have to do it tomorrow instead. So we'll see. I was thinking about taking my Wi-Fi meter down to measure the radio wave frequencies to tell if the protesters were getting targeted by, you know, the new cell infrastructure. That would let us know if, you know, two, three weeks from now, if these people start getting sick, that they were radiated while they were protesting. Problem is, my meter doesn't go high enough. It's not accurate enough. You know, even the baseline levels in New York City, just what they normally are, would be off the charts for the meter that I have. So if there is someone in New York City that is able to measure Wi-Fi EMF levels, the radio wave signals that can go to these protests, they would be able to tell. Uh, I wish I had a meter. Maybe I'll reach out to my EMF guy and see if there's a meter that measures high enough frequencies, but you know, chances are it's probably like you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, for that type of equipment. So that might be a little bit out of reach. What we can safely say though is, you know, they have these new Wi-Fi antennas and cell structures pretty much on every single building in New York City. So we know it's happening. We know these people are probably getting radiated, but in order to prove it, it's very difficult. It requires a piece of equipment that no one probably has. Pretty nasty outside. Let's see who shows up. It feels like some type of prison planet. Like in a movie. I mean, we are in a simulation after all, aren't we? So the George Floyd protests today at 4 p.m. in Manhattan are at Washington Square Park. So the plan is to meet, you know, at a subway station a bit north of there, and I'll hand out the flyers to the people I see, and uh, then they'll go down to the protest after. I'm hoping that's an accident. It looks like an accident. I don't know what happened. Uh, let's see. There's a van. 
Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It looks like he... That's not good. I thought I was going to come back nice and quick. It looked like he was changing his tire or something, but that's not good. We're not even there yet. I'm already sweating my guts out. My brain feels like it's fried. I feel so bad. I had like a headache most of the night last night, and I didn't eat anything yet today. Gotta try to stay a little hydrated. They even have these street lamps on like every street in New York City. It doesn't make any sense. See, this poor guy is gonna get blasted by radiation. That's why he's walking like that. Look at this, that poor guy. He got radiated by the LED lamps that they just installed, and now he can't walk right. But no, it's absolutely crazy that they're putting these in, uh, in Manhattan on every street. You know, they don't need the lighting. There's no way they need the lighting. And you can see the antennas on top of the devices. Scary. Scary, scary, scary. Look, we got another one. That guy's in a wheelchair. That guy's in a wheelchair from the radiation poisoning. Verizon truck right there. I saw a Spectrum truck earlier that I didn't film on the and this is i've only been in the city for two streets so you know verizon spectrum workers definitely doing overtime that's probably uh, another there's a van right there that's probably another cable van so we got our mask on to protect us from i guess an imaginary illness uh i think at least two of the guys are here uh so we should have at least two guys that are going to hand out flyers maybe i should ask this homeless lady on the street or two oh she has two dogs she's busy she has two dogs, she's probably vegan actually. So we got two guys down here. I think one guy ran to Home Depot to use the bathroom. Uh, so we're gonna have three guys handing out flyers down there. We'll see what happens. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know the George Floyd protests, they have them in a couple different neighborhoods, right? Like they have one for Brooklyn, one for Queens, one for Bronx. Uh, so this one's in Manhattan. They're gonna be in Washington Square Park at four o'clock. And then apparently at 7 p.m. they're going up to the, uh, the mayor's mansion or something, I don't know. But uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, I spent the money on these flyers, so. Whatever. Unlike de Blasio and the mayors, I'm actually employing people during the crisis, <laughs> in some capacity at least. So hopefully, hopefully I give you guys a couple days worth of work to do stuff. Uh, so these, these gentlemen were nice enough. This was, I literally posted that last night at 1 a.m. You guys were like, all right, let's do this. So these guys are gonna hand out flyers for me over today and maybe the next day too. And uh, we'll see what happens. The cops basically shot the kid 40 times. This happened in Brooklyn, New York last night. Kings Bubble Projects. It's all over Facebook, all over Instagram. The details are like very scarce, but I'm sure it'll come out sooner or later. So, last that check, it only takes one bullet to kill a person. Exactly. It doesn't take. It doesn't take. It doesn't take, it doesn't take a barrage really take 40 to of do it. forty. Yeah, that's overkill. It's like they send somebody one time. Sending a bad. I can believe you know, like bat, that will do it. It's sending a bad you know, message. You know what I mean? Last time I seen it, happen. I know. Like I see cops across the street. They obviously going to Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts cops, but. Yeah, I'm a little traffic. Traffic. That's traffic. I, I don't care, bro. Yeah, those are traffic cops. Those aren't the... Uh... See, when I, was, when I was younger, traffic officers used to dress in brown. Okay, okay. But people used to beat them up because they wasn't a part. Oh, no, they didn't, they didn't get, they wasn't they didn't a part get the proper of, respect. No, they wasn't a part of the New York City Police Department. Okay. They had to make them a part of the New York City Police Department. What happens was, it was tight in the 70s. You park somebody comes up gives you a ticket money is tight you get out Matt Luke Matt you know because you're mad you not the, same, money not the, same, the same cops that and they're carry. dirty they're dirty so what happened was they made them a part of the police department that's why people don't beat them up no more those are the LED lamps mm -hmm. those are the those are the towers and and you can see you know there's an LED lamp right there yeah. and on the top of the apartment building they have all the they have all the antennas yeah, yeah so yeah. Like a radiation meter, like something. You're watch this. Yeah. No, it's, it's serious. Yeah, it's serious. You, you see this? They can change the frequencies. Yeah. Yeah. Don't I, go. I, I found yeah. Out about that months ago. Yeah. Is there such thing as a radiation inspector? I'm a lead hazard inspector. But is there well, such thing yeah. Well, 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 the way the way these towers work, since since there's individual towers, what they do is they change the rate at which they pulse. So if you change the rate at which they pulse, you can change the, where they're pulsing at. You can target someone on the street here, you can target someone on the street there, it's very accurate. I got lucky with these guys, man. They know about like the secret societies and stuff and they, you know, they're really open to, you know, believing what's going on with this stuff. So I gave each of them 500 flyers. I said, hey, if you guys can record stuff for me while you're down there, let me know, send me some stuff. Uh, so I'm excited, a couple hours, 
Uh, we'll have an update about what happened. And uh, Frankie Boy's happy he might not have to do this again. <laughs> oh, if you guys are wondering, um, I said I was gonna give these guys 50 bucks for like an hour of work. I think I'm gonna end up giving each of them like 100, 150 bucks, so. I mean, what these guys are doing for me is it's invaluable. So I definitely wanna, wanna, wanna hook them up a little bit. So we're gonna head back home now. I think I can make it to the post office before they close to drop off my stuff for my company. Um, oh, look, another Spectrum truck. <laughs> I don't have any cash on me. If I had cash on me, I'd literally go up to the Spectrum truck and offer the guy money to talk about shit, but I don't have cash on me. I was like, yo, did you want to make some money? You working? And he said, nah, he's not interested. So these guys probably get, I'm assuming these Spectrum guys get bothered a lot and they get asked and shit. So um, my head fucking hurts, so I'm going to get home. I need something. And uh, Frankie boys, uh, might be the only person trying to make a difference. I'm starting to get chills down my spine. I saw three more Verizon trucks. These people in New York City are gonna get fried. 100% fried. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm not exaggerating when I said I've seen at least a dozen trucks today. All in the span of half an hour in a one block radius. There's another one, another Spectrum truck. Oh my God. I don't know, I, I think I just have to do a video like driving around showing the Spectrum trucks in New York City. This is crazy. If you just drove around New York for an hour or two, I guarantee you, you'd see at least 50 trucks. What's the point of even covering this stuff? It's crazy. Oh, there's some cute Asian girls. Guys, I know I'm beating a dead horse, but two more Verizon trucks just drove past me. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what's going on. There's another one. <sighs> I think every Verizon worker in New York City is out and about right now. Verizon, Spectrum, oh my God. So I took a quick drive around my parents' town and it looks like most of the flyers are still up. So I don't think anyone took them down. I'm hoping a decent amount of people saw them, but you know, most people are still inside. So at least we tried, right? So I put these flyers up Monday night on my street around my parents' neighborhood. And right now they're gone. So someone took them down within a day or two on my parents' street. So maybe I'll put them back up again. <laughs> Someone doesn't want that information out for some reason. Someone saw the posters and decided to take them all down. So when those three guys were down there handing out flyers, they took some footage from me. Let's check that out. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! We have Tom Square. Police right here, following the crowd. They look pretty uh, upset. Not really fans. They didn't come to the park. We got other protesters out here. Hey, can we get a? Yes. Thank you so Take much. One of those. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I feel fucking angry and like so many questions about myself. Okay. I'm trying to look more inside me. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm here to fucking scream. It's a lot of anger. You feel like there's a lot of anger here? A lot of anger. Look at this big crowd of people. This is not my third day out. So what do you wanna what do you what do you, what do you want this to accomplish? What do you feel like that we need? Well I just wanna hear from someone in the government some kind of resolution because in my eyes they wanna kill all of us. What do they want to do? They want to quiet all of us. Right. And I don't, I no, want to hear shoot. what they're going to do no, to progress from no, this. Shoot. America is stuck in its hypocrisy. No, okay. And I think no, the younger generation is no, learning about this hypocrisy. No, and they're standing up, standing by it now. They want a, something to change. No, no peace. We're doing that too. No peace. We believe uh, radiation poisoning is going on. Crazy. Everything's fucking crazy. Everything is crazy. Everything is. But listen, all these protesters got masks on. None of the cops do. None of the cops have masks on, and all the protesters do. All the protesters do. So after all of that, I called up each of the guys to ask, you know, how things went, and overall, very positive response. You know, people were very receptive to hearing about the radiation. 
Uh, they handed out about 1,400 flyers. Uh, so we definitely got the word out to quite a few people in New York City. Uh, we might do this again on Saturday because I still have some flyers left, uh, but we'll see. I think I've made as much of an impact as possible. Uh, I might actually uh, go back and put those flyers up on my street because uh, someone wasn't too happy and literally went down and took each of them down. Uh, whereas other parts of my town, I didn't see the same thing. So uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see if they really don't want this information out. You know, those flyers are going to disappear real quickly. Uh, so thank you guys for watching today. Uh, let me know if you have any other ideas down in the comments below. And uh, as I said, maybe we'll do another video about this on the weekend.